Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition, and today we are going to be doing something slightly different. We are going to be doing an episode with no cuts. It's going to be all one take, and however long it takes us, we are going to be doing it all in one take, because today we are going to be doing a bit of a world tour, a bit of a Spawn Town tour of everything that everybody's built in this certain area vicinity and there's a lunatic what is the lunatic doing in our base i'd assume afk fishing yep i given loon permission to fish in my fish farm oh that is uh loon yeah heads on backwards um, but we'll just leave him be there. We will just let him fish away. Um, okay then, that's a little bit frightening. Anywho, today we are going to be doing a tour. And this sign doesn't actually need to be here, but I'm going to leave it here. We're going to be doing a tour of all of Spawn Town, of everyone's builds. If I miss anyone in the tour, please let me know because I will be deeply sorry if I miss anyone. But, first and foremost, let's, I guess, start things here, at my cottage. You've most likely all seen the, my, my cottage that I built on day one in my first episode. Uh, it just sort of sits here with my pets in it and stuff. It's, it's a nice little cottage. It's relatively nice. Up here, we just get a little staircase. Under here, basement, where all the fish farm drops go. Loon's got some junk chests here that he's going to be sorting out in the near future but anyway yeah I'm just gonna breeze over my stuff fairly quickly because you've probably seen it all before and when we've got loons backwards head in there my walkway up there with oh scary guy there we go shoot the skeleton as well come on right there's lots of actually stuff to explore coming off of my path but Come through here, we've got the enchanting area, and then the path we built with Nano. We'll go over Nano's area later, but first and foremost, we are going to uh, venture up the path, and we're actually going to be checking out Bladestone first, who is connected onto my path, because he's the closest. He seems to be the closest. I haven't actually checked out a lot of the builds that people have been doing, so let's get up here, and alright, this is looking nice. Ooh. This path is actually quite nice going up through the mountain. I like this. And then we have some sort of a building here. So, he, Bladestone's got a very nice style. Um, I know he likes his birchwood. I've seen him use it. He's used it for his spawn house on the last season. But this is this is a really nice looking thing with his walkway, sunflowers, sugar canes. We, yeah, this, this walkway is nice. It's got a spectacular view of spawn town. And yeah, his style's really quite nice. He's got cats and dogs. Oh, he's expanding quite a bit in here. So he's going to be mainly living underground by the looks of it. If we go out here, is there... Yeah, there's another route through and there's another building. Oh, this is my favourite one. I've seen this from a distance. I haven't actually seen it properly. Oh, yeah, this is my favourite one. That looks magnificent. Bladestone, you've got a really, really good building style. I really enjoy it. I love it. So he's got his place on top of the hill over here. There seems to be a way over there. But I guess a good place to properly go now is to drop down the hill and into this portal area. So probably future site of Pastor Fluff, Blade and Nano's shop. So Fluff is going to be setting up over there. I don't believe he actually has any build set up yet. So I won't bother going over that way. Alright, there we go. I didn't want that. Go away. Anyway, this this portal here, this is a build me and Fluff did in one of Fluff's videos. And it's really nice. I really like this place. Uh, the majority of the idea and stuff was uh, Fluff I just helped out with building. And I gave some creative in uh, input as well. This is, of course, where my path connects to my base uh, from this portal. And yeah, it does look really rather nice. My favourite bit is the interior, because the interior is what I did. I did the entirety of the interior. 
And yeah, I think it looks really nice. I made some custom bookshelf half slabs, which is what they look like anyway. Uh, chain put used four redstone lamps to create a sort of new texture in there. It's just a really nice little area. But this this build, it's what it's a fluff build. The roof is going to be magnificent on it. Fluff is the roof master of the server. Anyway, yeah, this is a really really nice build. I think what we're going to do now is pop into the nether hub side of the spawn town and pop down into the valley which basically we have portals to all different sides of the valley and loon sorted out <laughs> um so we have as you can see portals to the eastern side um i don't actually know where that or that goes but we got east south the valley and uh there'll probably be north and west when that comes around but actually i think we should probably go through to the eastern side just so um we could show off this side this is a uh, basically loon's skyland and the side that loon's sort of taking over and this i really like uh it's basically we're gonna have different portal areas for each side so me and fluff worked on the southern portal loon did the eastern portal i assume other people will do the western and northern portals but i really love this portal it's suspended between these two big pillars and my input on this was to put fire at the top and loon seemed to really really like that if you watched his video where he also did a tour uh he told he spoke about uh the fire being my idea and stuff so basically yeah i really like this portal i was on when loon was building it and yeah he's he's done a very good job of staying straying away from too many boxy textures only using them sparingly and using everything yeah basically it just looks really quite nice and i just like how the portal's suspended in between these two pillars but anyway that's enough of that we are actually going to go over <gasps> no, no 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 oh gosh oh dear oh dear <laughs> i thought i was dead then oh dear well we gotta make it back up to loon skyland but actually we seem to be right on track to Quirky's Railway. So we'll check out Loon Skyland in a bit. Let us just pop up Quirky's area, get in the minecart, and let's say we want to go to Quirky's base. And then we'll take the minecart back down to the valley. That seems like a good idea. So Quirky's been very busy since I've been away. He's made a really lovely area in here. Oh, by, oh, by minecart. It's a chick Loon, you're invading everyone. This is nice. I haven't actually seen this in person yet. I've just seen this through Loon's tour, but it's a nice storage area with hay bales and things. Nice. This is actually looking really good. Granite? Mm -hmm. Not my... Oh, okay. I need to stop. I need to genuinely stop falling down places. I think that was the majority of what was needed to be seen at Quirky Space, but we'll pop back up anyway. I mean, I didn't fall down, it just was an excuse to use his minecart elevator again. I don't know what you're talking about. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Anyway, going back up. We are back up the top now, and up here is what I wanted to check out, because he's got a lovely walkway thing going out and around to an enchanting area. Oh, this is nice. I like that, because it's not just your bog standard enchanting setup. Oh, this is... I like this. Quirky, you've done a very, very good job here. A very good job here. Right, I guess there's no better way to get down than falling down. Again, very deliberate. Let's take the valley. Let's go down into the valley and pour some of spawn. Uh, there's the cactus shop we built last episode. That stuff I'm probably not going to tour because, I mean, obviously it's what I've been doing the loon. Oh, okay, out I get. <sighs> loon is taking over the server. He really is. Loon is genuinely taking over the server with his chickens. Or should I say loons on his end because I'm not using the texture pack he sent me. Probably should. Anyway, we've got loon's chicken cooker here that is full up. I'll take some of this. Empty it out a little bit for him. Let's just take five stacks of chicken. There we go. So there we go. We got our five stacks of chicken. I'll stick that in my food chest. Just so 
Yeah, we basically got this area. I need to get to the pillar of the bed to sleep, and I will tour the majority of spawn then and go up to nano space. So up we go into the pillar of the bed. This was built day one by Quirky, I believe. I'm not entirely sure about that one, but all right, let's sleep through the night. Are we gonna be allowed to sleep? There we go. We sleep through the night. And this is actually a really good place to get a view of the entirety of Spawn. So Loon Skyland up there will probably end up visiting last because we fell off it. And yeah, everything. We're going to be visiting Nano's place. I believe there's other people's places up in the mountains somewhere. I don't. I genuinely don't know who some of the places are. So uh, we will visit them. But the farm, the animal farms, they need. Uh, they, they probably need redoing at some point. They need definitely a bit of a makeover. The enchanting area. This is I, I supplied this enchanting room on day two, I believe. But over here, this is where the community mine is and the portal to the valley. I don't know who put that there and built it with netherrack, but that looks kind of cool. Uh, if we go down here, down the path, this path here is actually one that I built. I built this stone path going uh, to uh, my base in that area over here. But this storage area here, this was done by Fluff for community storage. If we go down here, this is also uh, by Fluff, all of these farms and farmland, which actually look absolutely spectacular. Just different layered farms. I mean, anything Fluff really builds looks really quite spectacular. I can't wait to see what else he gets up to on the server. But here, this is uh, Datnerd's holiday home dedicated to all misunderstandings. And that is because me and Fluff, when we were renovating spawn we actually tore down the old community storage area which Datner built and he was actually really happy with that and we thought it was temporary so we just tore it down and then we realized uh, after he made a stance about it that actually it wasn't that temporary so what we did is we rebuilt it we rebuilt uh, this is basically exactly what the front looked like not in the same place, but the front looked like from the furnaces around. This is what it genuinely looked like. And then me and Fluff sort of turned into a bit of a hobbit hole. I made him a bit of a holiday home. And since he loves flowers, we put flowers everywhere. It's not furnished or anything. There's just dogs wandering about. And a chicken, of course. That, why would... It wouldn't be SMPDX3 without a chicken in every frame of the video. I don't know who put this iron golem here. But he seems to be chilling out there. And then the path just links back up here. What's this? Alright, let's 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 follow this around. Because I haven't actually seen this. I don't know where this goes. So let's pop through here. Oh, we're getting a little bit of choppy frame rate. What is this then? This must be the zombie farm. Ah, okay, so I haven't been to the zombie farm yet. I genuinely didn't know where the zombie farm was. And I seem to have stumbled across it. And I'm why am I getting such choppy frame rate? I'm stuck on six frames per second. Is it going to pick up? No, What? what is going on? Oh, there we go. It picked up now. Something about that zombie spawner down there gave me really choppy frame rate. But anyway, now I know what that is. I mean, I don't need it because we've got the skeleton farm. And I don't actually know where the road back is. Oh, there here it is down here. Um, but we got a skeleton farm, so I don't need that too much. But if I need rotten flesh, I genuinely now know where to go. So anyway, we're going to follow over here and we're going to link up, up to Nano's area. Which, I love Nano's base. I absolutely love it. It's such a good idea. Indrignium Tower. Nano 912. And he's he's just gone for this mystical mage-like place. And he's used all this purple highlights and everything. All these cool banner designs for Lance. What is it that is lagging me out so much? Alright, so it seemed to be when I looked over there. It was really strange. Anyway, but if we go up here, Nano's got a really lovely lovely uh, theme for this um, season he's got this purple theme and I love what he's done over here to have the purple indrignia leak into the soil oh it just looks so cool and Nano's tower is actually really nice I know I said something about boxy textures earlier but I think it actually kind of suits the build in this respect um, 
if we go to the Tower of Endurium down there is when we did the uh, sad nano prank. If we just go up to the top, I mean, it's actually really nice. He's made the like space on the interior work really well. I mean, what's this? He's got little bookshelves, and up at the top he's got an enchanting table with an Indrignium crystal, I believe, at the top. And it genuinely just does look really, really nice. And it's not even that big. But he's just made it so immersive. It's really cool. And over there, I believe that is... Well, that's... I know what that is. That's my area. I don't know who's that up there. That seems to be an AFK fish farm of some sort. The skeleton farm's down through it. I don't know whose bridge that is. I think it might be type 1s. But I know Nerd is set up somewhere on the hill up there, and so is Sin. Um, I genuinely... Okay, the one I know how to get to most is I know how to get to Sin's. So, let's try and get to Sin's. I don't know if Nerd has a base yet, and I don't know if there are any other bases. But I, I definitely know how to get to Sin's up here. But I don't know how to get to anyone else's or where anyone else's are, so... After we've visited Sins, we'll visit over to Loon's Skyland and have a look at that. But then after that, I don't, I genuinely don't know if anyone else has any other bases, places. I mean, I know there are buildings uh, around about the place, but I genuinely don't know who they belong to or why they are there. Don't know if they're bases or just random buildings or... That must be the Western Portal. That's good to know. There's a little bridge there. That's kind of cool. Don't know who did that. I'd assume either Nano or Nerd. But I don't know. So uh, that seems to be the location for the Western Portal. So that's kind of cool to know. But our oh, Sin's base is such a climb to get up to because it's just up this waterfall. And it's so... If you know anything about me, I hate climbing water in this game. But anyway, it seems like we're getting up to some ladders here. Seems like we're at least getting somewhere. Okay, so we actually need to get up here. Okay, I see. Ooh. Come on, up we get. Okay, so... Why did I just drop like that? <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate climbing water in this game. I mean, these ladders aren't complete. It would be nice if they were, but... We're almost at the top. Oh... <laughs> That's my water climbing noise, and I hate water. Right, we're almost there, come on. We can make it up. We can make it up. Nope, okay, one more. Up, 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 yep. We made it up, we made it to the path. So up here, this is Sin's house, I do believe. Sin Rai, or Hot Penguin, or whatever you really want to call her. She goes by many different names. This is her place, this little house on the hill here. And it's actually kind of nice, it's a little... Reminds me of like a little like cottage you'd find up in the Alps or something, I don't know. Like a little old barn that's been converted or something and there seems to be a way down to a mine down there. And I know she has a more main base up there so I believe we follow the bridges over here. And then we get to that but this I believe was her starter house and she's moving on to bigger better things over here. And she has bridges going to that. Um, there is a house up there. I don't actually know who that belongs to. That might be Nerd. That might be, like, Anime and Batsy. But I genuinely don't know. And we'll go up there if I can find the way up. But I genuinely don't know the way to get there. So if I can find it on my way up here, then I'll go there. But otherwise, I probably won't. Unless that's it. That big wooden bridge. I, I genuinely don't know. But after we've gone to uh, Sin's house, we will have a look over at Loon Skyland, and then I don't know where anyone else's bases are from there, so we'll have to check out other people's tours and stuff, or other people's videos if I missed. I mean, I would have covered all of the video makers on the server, I believe, but um, there are some people I just don't know. My mouse spazzed out there. That wasn't actually me jumping off a cliff. That was genuinely my mouse that time. Um, but yeah, everyone in the description of my videos are making SMPDX episodes, so... Oh wow, she seems to be making like an actual village here, so... Colourful interior, colourful carpets, and... A lolith. Sounds elvish. It's probably elvish. I, I'm gonna think it's elvish, but... 
Wow, she's actually genuinely making, like, a proper village here. This is really cool. I like this. Just hear animals everywhere. Whoa, there's loads of them. Oh, she's been busy making this village. It's looking really cool. I like this. Oh, and there's even a bridge going somewhere else. Well, we'll take a look at this. And... Wow. Genuinely, this bridge... Okay. Oh, I... this must be nerd. This must be nerd. This must be nerd. If this isn't nerd, I don't know who it's going to be. Because nerd and his flowers, I mean, just watch Fluff's episode and you'll find out, but... Gee, like... This has got to be nerd, I don't know who else it could be. I don't believe this is nerd, though. I think this might be uh, Anime and Batsy, but I, that middle bit, that's got to be nerd. I don't know who else that could possibly be. Who else would make a massive flowery patch rather than nerd, but... Okay, there's a bed here, good. Go to sleep. Chickens in here as well. But yeah, though, that flower patch has definitely got to be nerd. I think, I, I believe this is Anime and Batsy. I'm completely unsure. But I'm going to say that. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But, oh, shut the door. Yeah, it's fairly decent. It's just a house. Bog standard. I, that must be nerd in the middle doing that. Can't see who else that would be. But yeah, if you can see, that's where we were in Sin's house. But there's no better way to get off a mountain than to jump for it into water. Basically. Simple as. So, we'll take the valley portal. Which is de uh, just down here. And we'll pop up and actually make it over to Loon Skyland this time. And then we will finish the tour where Loon started his up at his Skyland, I've just thought about. So, if you want a uh, different style tour, if you want uh, another tour, if you didn't get entirely everything from mine, go check out Loon's tour. The link to Loon's channel is in the description. And, yeah, Loon's got a donate netherrack slash brick for a wither scale farm. I donated, like, half a double chest of stuff in there. So I'm sure that should be good for now, but if I'm going through here... We'll actually hopefully make it to Loon Skyland this time to end the episode, so let's line ourselves up and not jump off the bridge this time. Let's hope not to do that. But yeah, we're ending off at Loon Skyland. He's got some farms, he's got some chests, he's got some smelting things. And we started the tour with a backwards head loon and we finish off at Loon's house, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition. I hope you enjoyed the one take, no cut um, tour video. Uh, episodes will be going back to normal next episode where I do projects and such. But just thought I want, I just thought I'd get you guys up to scratch on everything that's on the server at this point in time. There are portals to other locations such as Spawn Town and. Mining Mesa and the jungle, but no one's built there, so I'm not going to be showing you guys that. And one thing, one major thing I did forget is we built a lake. Me, Loon, and Nerd were building a lake, and I built this dam uh, for the edge of the lake. And that's just to stop it going down into the valley. I'm pretty sure I may have showed that off last episode. But, yeah, and also my quarry and my cacti farmer down there. You know that. Those have been my own episodes. If you want a more in-depth view of any of my builds, um, basically, just go watch my other episodes. And if you want in-depth things on anyone else's builds, Fluff has an episode on that portal. Nano has an episode on this path area here. Uh, he also has an episode on his Indregnate Tower. Oh, Loon's Chicken Fire thing just went off. But Loon's got episodes on his Skyland and Tours. Quirky's probably got an episode somewhat coming out of his base, I'm unsure, but basically everyone who does YouTube, links in the description, I hope you did all enjoy this episode, leave a like and a comment, and I will see you in the next episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition, I hope you all enjoyed, and goodbye, see you next time.